Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be swatching some of the Peri Pera tints. These are lip and cheek tints, and I have a bunch of shades here with me. There are many types of tints. The ones I'll be swatching is from the Ink Velvet range. By the way, I also have one tint from the Ink Tint Serum range. Uh, just one, so I'll be swatching it in the end after all the Ink Velvet tints are done. I'll also be doing lip combos using these tints. If you don't know this brand, Peri. Peripera is a Korean makeup brand and it has recently launched on macron.in. A lot of people are into tints these days than actual uh, you know blush and lipstick uh, I've seen a lot of people doing that and I myself gravitate towards lip tints these days because I don't do a very heavy uh, makeup layer like foundation powder and all so for an everyday kind of makeup look and just to add some flush of color I gravitate towards tints because they are like so easy to apply you just have to dab them and you're done it comes in this dropper kind of a packaging but it's not a dropper it actually has a doe foot applicator from outside it looks like it has a dropper though so this is the applicator thank god it's not a dropper because dropper is little bit you know complicated to use this one gets really quick and this is how the outer packaging looks like okay it comes in this cardboard box and the texture is velvety for this uh, it's not thin it's not liquidy it's sort of a creamy velvety texture I really enjoy the texture of this actually and once it dries down it uh, it kind of has this powder matte finish and even feels like powder matte you know like it doesn't feel sticky at all but it is still comfortable I mean it doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick because it's a tint and it is a bit transfer proof but not completely uh, because if you it just leaves a little bit of tint as you can see but if you just lightly touch then it doesn't transfer if you press it really hard then it transfers you can also add more layers if you want to make it darker so now that you know how these tints are let me just start by showing you the swatches of all these and then we'll create some lip combos okay so let's get started <music> the shade on my cheeks and eyelids as well it is very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way
pink tint serum in the shade 2 as well and it has a similar packaging only thing is uh, it is kind of glossy and the ink velvet packaging is matte as you can see and this one is more liquidy it's not exactly liquid but the consistency is more liquidy compared to the ink velvet one and it is more kind of a sheer kind of a tint that one as you could see it was like more opaque Now in case you do have multiple lip tints, you can definitely create lip combos, you can create like an ombre effect, you can create those uh, Korean lips. Even if you have just one tint, uh, you can apply a thin layer uh, all over and then build up the intensity right in the middle, just, that is apply a little bit more of it and then kind of tap and that's how you get that transition. Uh, so if you have more than one color, you can play with it. If you just have one, you can do this. I won't be creating a lot of combos because my lips are burning right now because I have to remove uh, the tint each time while swatching. So I'll be creating just three combos. For the first combo, I'll be using the ink velvet in the shade 5 because this is a pretty light shade and I'll be applying this all over my lips. Just a little bit and then apply it all over and to apply in middle I'll be using this third shade this is like a dark pink sort of a shade and I'll be applying it only in the center and then do this and lightly tap This is how it looks like. For the next lip combo, I'll be using the shade 15. This is again a really light peachy sort of a shade. Uh, I'll be applying it all over my lips. I mean, first apply a little bit and then dab it. For the middle shade, I'll be going with the sixth shade. This is a reddish kind of tint. Ignore this concealer, <laughs> it's settled in the lines. I had to apply concealer because my lips were stained with these tints and I had to show you the two colors. So I had to apply some concealer and my teeth are painted. <laughs> lip combo I'll be using this shade number 14 this is an orange shade the true orange for the middle shade I'll be using the first shade this is a maroonish sort of a tint So these were all the lip swatches and the combos. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a good lip and cheek tint, I would highly recommend these. The shade range is amazing. I personally like shade number 2 and 5 the most. If you like a true orange tint, then you should go for shade number 14. This is like orange orange. Matlab, there's no pink, red. It's directly orange and if you like red tints then you can go for shade number six this is a beautiful red tint and if you like a true pink tint then you should go for shade number nine this is like even the bottle is pink so this is a really good tint as well i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i upload new videos every saturday and today's comment shout out goes to rishima patel thank you so much for your comment and uh, yeah, that's it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!